In this HTML video, we're going to be talking about sections, but more specifically the div, the section, and a little thing called span. So here we have a paragraph, and then we have this div that surrounds this paragraph. As you can see over here, it's one big paragraph, and we have a div surrounding it because maybe we want to control what this looks like what this content looks like. And so we tend to put divs around things. Divs are generic blocks of code that we want to do something with. So we give this div a class of song, and then down in our CSS, we're gonna control what it looks like. So we can give it a background, a background color of let's say aqua. So now we have this background color of aqua. and we can actually give an h2 tag for this one. So we can give some kind of heading for it. And as you can see, all of this now has a aqua background to it. Now, since this information is very, very related to one another, we wouldn't give it a div tag. I mean, we can, but we can be what's called more semantic about it. And we can say, this is a whole section of information. So we can start up by a section tag. Notice nothing changed over here. Looks exactly the same as it did before. It's just a different way to group information. Section tags should always have a heading to them. If they don't have a heading to them, maybe just use a div and then some information below it. So a div is generic section related content. Another thing that we can do is we can do a span. So a span is designed to affect only a small portion of usually text. We want to control it in some way. Let me move this over. So let's give this a class of highlight. And then down in here, we can do highlight and then background yellow. So a span can only, well, it can affect a small portion of text. And let me show you how it's different than div. So if we change it to div, it puts all the space. And what it does is it, it, it expands this entire website. That's called a block element. So div is considered a block element. It takes up the entire block of the website. Span is just a shorter it just spans whatever's inside and then it stops. So it starts before the C and ends after the E. To give you guys a little bit better idea of the how to use divs in sections, let's look at this website here. So if we go to developer tools and if we look at this content up here, so we have this A tag, and then inside we have a div. And as you can see, these are highlighting over here. So I have this div for the score overview, which looks just like the time. And then inside the time, we have another div. And then inside that div, we have a span, because I just want like one line of text. And then in the network, we have a div, a little bit more information. So there's a ton of divs here, huge amount of divs. But now if we go to the center section here, we'll see that this entire main content, which spans all the way down is a div. But if we expand this, we'll see that it's broken into sections. So this left column is a section, the middle column is a section, and the right column is also a section. And if we break down the section in the middle, We'll see that we have a section, which is just the top part. Then we have an article, which is very much like a section. And then we have a section below that. Uh, where's that one at? I don't see that one. Oh. This one, though, is another section. And down here are articles and so on. So related content. Like this right here is a section or an article, 
another one, another one, and then all of it together could be considered another section possibly. And then divs are just generic grouping of content.